difficulty. Whoa, amazing. So just the first run, it works. What's happening, folks? So Replit came out with their coding agent and OpenAI came out with the O1 set of models. And these models are known for reasoning and also for that purpose, they're pretty good at coding. So I thought, how about making them compete against each other? So we'll give them three set of prompts and we'll ask them to build complete applications for very minimal instructions. And let's see who's gonna be the winner. All right, let's go. On the left side, we got Replit. On the right side, Composer started. Replit wanted a few more prompts, so that's fine. We'll give them two seconds as bonus. So the prompt is make a snake game with nice interface and same rules as the original game. Build the full app, please. It's very vague, we just wanna keep it vague. Whoa, look at that. So the app is built in 17 seconds by 01 within Composer. And it seems like it's got some instructions as well on the Composer window. Nice, we're gonna accept it on the left side. I totally miss that there is some sort of plan of action that we're supposed to approve, but that's fine. We'll just accept it, no time to read. So let's see how this runs. We can just run with the command and the requirements should be already fulfilled. Okay, so it seems like it ran okay without errors. Nice, on the left side, we are seeing a bunch of things happening. That's a really nice interface, by the way. It's just going through the code, it's going through all the requirements, what to install. It's also given us some info on what's happening. Good job, Replit. So let's see, maybe it takes a few more seconds, okay. So that completes it. Now I wonder how the results are gonna look like. So let's see. Okay, so it seems like O1 with cursor is having some issue getting started, but the Replit one is doing pretty good. Wow, look at the graphics. And also it's following the rules, got some screens for messages. So, okay, with this one, just had to reload and with that it's working, but not the best graphics to be honest, okay. Decent. All right, round two, let's get started. Both of them go at it. So, okay, miss the continue. Again, I keep missing that one, but that's fine, we'll give him bonus. So the challenge this time is to build a chat app that lets user chat with a nice interface. We'll give them the API as well as the response so they know what to expect as the response from the API, and then to build the full app. Whoa. Okay, so O1 comes back with the full app in 26 seconds. Okay, some more prompts on the left side. I need to remember to accept the prompts from Replin. And on the cursor side, uh, okay, with the accepting the uh, files generated looks fine. Uh, also, there doesn't seem to be any other dependencies, so that's good. So I started with this virtual environment just to make sure everything stays within that virtual environment. Uh, it doesn't cause any issues with any global dependencies or so, so that everything stays there. Uh, on the Replit side, seems like there are a bunch of files, those are already created, so we can see that in the left side. Um, also, it seems like it's uh, installed a few more dependencies. Um, we've got the prompt, so I just copied from the right side and pasted, so it shows as pasted text in there, which if we were to open maybe from here, yeah, we can see that it's got the initial prompt, it's got the API structure, the response, and then I just asked to build it, please. Okay, there we go, it's built now. All right, so the result Let's see, whoa, amazing. So just the first run, it works. How about here? All right, awesome, both of them did amazing. Okay, round three, and this time I'm gonna hit continue and then go to cursor and then we start both of them. Nice, so it seems like both are generating. So the prompt this time is to build a calculator app that looks exactly like the iOS calculator app, is functional, has nice UI, and can be used right away. So with that, it seems like both sides are thinking generating. We've got the plan to approve. Okay, let's do it right away this time. And with that, it 
it gets to work and it's building the files. On the right side, almost done. There we go. So 35 seconds this time and we've got the full app code available. And then we can just try the uh, the uh, uh, command for it. So python app.py. With that, we should have it running. Let's click and see what happens. Okay, that opens it. And let's bring it over here. Uh, the interface looks very similar to IS Calculator. And uh, it's just that I see that the equal sign is at the bottom. Not sure if that's the case in the IS Calculator, but it's working. Look at that. In first go, it's working. And on the left side, it seems like it's at the last stage. All right, there we go. So it's completed. It's going to open the app soon. All right, wow, that looks exactly similar to the iOS app and works awesome. So as you've seen, O1 model generates the code for the app in less than 40 seconds in all of the cases. So if we're just looking at time, then O1 models definitely beat Replit. But then on the other hand, Replit agents, they're able to build this app which is deployed and it has a link that could be shared and used right away. So if we're looking at usability, then definitely Replit is faster because if you you were to deploy the app with cursor and O1, definitely it's going to take a few more minutes. So which one do you think is the right metric? Is it the time or is it the usability or is it some other metric that can decide the winner? So who do you think is the winner? Let me know in the comment section below.